what's going on guys? We are gonna be looking for another new species today. I am down in South Miami right now. Uh, in this pond behind me, there should be some zebra tilapia. So zebra tilapia, they are native to West Africa. They're definitely not as widespread as some of the other tilapia or cichlid species down in South Florida. Really, they're only found in the uh, Snapper Creek canal system. And this pond is fairly close to Snapper Creek and I know they have been caught out of here. So the goal today is gonna be to catch our first ever zebra tilapia. We're gonna be fishing some red worms. I got two rods with me, my medium light Avidex with a small little size eight hook. This I'm gonna be fishing on the bottom. And I got my second rod here. I'm gonna be uh, fishing another little piece of red worm under a bobber, kind of suspended in the water column. So fingers crossed, I'm hopeful we can uh, check off the zebra tilapia off of our species list. Our first setup, uh, size eight hook, little red worm, and up about 12 inches above that, we got a little float. It's gonna cast this out, and while we're waiting for something to hit this, I'm gonna set up my other rod. Oh, there's actually a bunch of fish right there. They look like spotted tilapia, though, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if we can catch some of those guys and double check. All right, setup number two. Same hook, same piece of worm, just a couple of split shots above that. There's a ton of fish right there. And they are striped, look a little bit like zebra tilapia. But unfortunately, oh, this is going to be easy to catch these guys. They are all over it. What do we got? Oh, he's off. All right, let's get this back in there. So these guys are all over it. Unfortunately, though, zebra tilapia and juvenile spotted tilapia look extremely similar. So even if I catch one, well, let's see what we got. Even if I catch one, I don't know if I'm going to be able to tell them apart. So this is definitely a tilapia, but I don't think it's a zebra. Let's double check. So to the best of my knowledge, I think this is a juvenile spotted tilapia. I'm going to try to get a bigger one because once they're a little bit older, it's really easy to tell the difference. But I think our first fish here is a spotted. Let me drop this back on down there again. There's fish all over it instantly. They're really small though. What do we got? Uh, once again, I think this is a juvenile spotted. So it does have a couple vertical bars here, but like I mentioned earlier, the spotted tilapia also have those. So we'll get this guy back. Let's cast this back on out there. Hopefully I'll, I could be able to identify one of these guys. There we go, fish on. I think it's, I think it's just another spotted. So unfortunately, there's not too much uh, dark banding on these. So I think these are just spot. All right, let's cast this out a little bit further and work it back in. Maybe there's some bigger fish a little bit deeper. Okay, I think if they get a little bit older and bigger, I should be able to identify them a whole lot easier. Oh, fish on. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is gonna be a zebra tilapia. Yeah, so at this size, you could definitely see the darker bands here. This is definitely not a spotted. I don't know what those other fish were in the beginning, but this for sure is a zebra tilapia. So target species caught, been here only about five minutes. So let's keep fishing. Let's see what else is in this little pond. So that actually worked out really well. Couple minutes in here. 
target species is crossed off the list. Let's keep going. Let's play some catch and release with some of these other fish. Maybe we'll get some other species as well. There we go. Fish on. Another zebra tilapia. The colors on this one are a whole lot nicer. Yeah, so look at this one. Even in the shade, I'm trying to keep it out of the sun. Beautiful bars there. Some nice yellow colors on them. Some little blue here on the cheeks. But definitely a zebra tilapia and a beautiful one at that. Casting out, nice slow retrieve, and there should be a whole bunch of fish on this thing. There was a bite. There's a fish. Little bluegill, little pale colored bluegill. All right, first native fish, spe fish species out of this pond, a little really, really pale and dull colored copper nose bluegill. Fish on. Another zebra tilapia. These are such an, I love catching new fish. Like something just a little bit different. And these guys definitely do that. Beautiful looking fish. Fish on. What is this little bluegill? Not too many native fish out here, but I got a couple. Oh, fish on. What is this, another zebra tilapia? Such a cool looking fish, the black and yellow on the body. Yeah, so, I mean, I like the novelty of catching new fish, but as far as tilapia go, this might be my favorite looking one that I've caught so far. I mean, spotteds are nice, blue and niles are pretty boring, but I love the kind of the yellow negative area here with the black bands on it. And all these guys have some nice purple and blue here on the face. So it's a beautifully colored fish. Fish on. Another one of these guys, a little bit on the smaller side than the last one. But another zebra tilapia, so I guess this pond really does have a nice population of these guys. Fish on. Oh, little guy. What, what is this? Oh, this is something different. Oh, this is going to be an African jewel cichlid. Let's look at this guy. Actually, guys, I stand corrected. This is a Salvini cichlid. So I've caught these guys up in uh, Broward County in Davie. I didn't know that they were this far south. I thought it was a jewel cichlid for a second, but it's not. It's little Salvini native to uh, Belize, Guatemala, I think Honduras, a little bit of Mexico, basically Eastern Central America.
Oh, fish on. I did have a bite. What is this tiny thing? Another Salvini. So I think this is two Salvinis back to back. Fish on. What do we got? What is this? See, this is one of those that I was not sure about. I think I think it is a spotted. I don't think it is a zebra tilapia. Because by this point, I've got I've caught plenty of zebras. I mean, it kind of looks like one, but the colors are just way faded. I think it's a spotted. I don't know. Got some bands on the tail. I'll find out later. Fish on. This one feels like a decent size. Another one of those zebra tilapia. You see what's really interesting? This is for sure a zebra and it doesn't have those bands on the tail. So the last fish had the bands on the tail, which makes me think it's a different species. So I think these are zebras. The other ones were probably spotted tilapia. All right, so great start so far. Been here only a little bit more than half an hour. The action is phenomenal. As Soon as my worm hits the bottom, within five or 10 seconds, I get a hit. Uh, but I think I've caught enough of those, like zebra tilapia, bluegills, and spotted tilapia. Uh, there are a lot of micros that I saw, so I tied on a little small tanago. I took off the, wor the uh, hook with the bob on it because that was just a waste of time. The action was too good to fish two rods. So I'm going to put a really, really small piece of worm on and try to figure out what these micros are. All right, so here is just the very, very small piece. I think these are probably just mosquito fish, but can't hurt to try to find out, right? Oh, what do we got? Let's take a look at this guy. Yep, so this is just an Eastern mosquito fish. I'm wondering if this might be a mangrove mosquito fish, because we are in a little bit of saltier water. I don't think so, I think it's just an Eastern, but I'll double check on that. All right, let's drop this thing back on down there. That did not take long. Looks to be another another mosquito fish. I think yeah, this looks like an eastern mosquito fish. See if there's maybe anything over by this tree here. Oh, fish on. Yeah, so this is, I'm not gonna be able to identify this, I don't think. This is either a juvenile spotted or a juvenile zebra tilapia. That was quick, as soon as my little worm hit the water. Another mosquito fish. All 
that one. Oh, this is a bigger one. I think it's... I don't know, man. All these tilapia look similar. I think this is a juvenile spotted, though. Fish on. Oh, this is a bigger one. Oh man. Let's see if I can get this guy in on the Tanago. I did. Looks like a juvenile spotted. Oh, fish on. Little guy, what is this? What is this? Oh, oh, this is a jewel cichlid. So there are jewel cichlids in here. Earlier we got a salvini that I thought was a jewel. This one is going to be a jewel cichlid. Fish on. What is this? Little zebra tilapia. Actually, like I said earlier, I did say zebra tilapia, but this is going to be a spotted. It's got the bands on the tail, which I think is one way to tell, and it's definitely got some of that uh, pinkish purple starting to come in like the adults have. So this is going to be a spotted. At least I'm pretty sure. Fish on, what do we got? Tiny guy. So, baby, baby Salvini cichlid. What is this? Little, little jewel cichlid. All right, second one of these for the day. All right, let's get one more fish out of here. We'll call it a day on that. What do we got? Juvenile. I think it's a, this is going to be a juvenile zebra tilapia. So pretty cool to end it on the fish that we came over here to catch. Alright, so that's going to do it. This was about as good of a day as I could have possibly pictured. I had a plan, I put it together, came out here, executed it perfectly. Got my first ever zebra tilapia, along with a whole bunch of other zebra tilapia. And then, of course, those spotted tilapia, those African jewel cichlids, which I always love to catch. They're probably, I think, the most beautiful of uh, the non-native cichlid species here in Florida. Uh, what else? I got a bluegill, a salvini, mosquito fish. It was a great day. So I'm glad I got the uh, zebra tilapia now on my life list. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.